Hey everyone, Norm from Tested here at Wonderfest in Louisville, Kentucky, and I just met Warren. Warren, pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you too. Now, Warren, you have probably the biggest model I've seen here at the show. Uh, this is, of course, the Space Battleship Yamato, yeah. right? Uh, tell me about the process of building um, this model. So initially, um, this model is the amalgamation of a lot of different designs. Uh, primarily, the main contributors for this are Elaine River and Dana Moss. Dana Moss contributed the uh, engine fins right there, while Elaine River provided the basis. This is uh, heavily modified off his STL. Um, but yeah, the parts that I designed myself are the turrets and the uh, superstructure. That was all uh, completed. Um, so I built this over the course of about seven months. Wow. Um, it took. Uh, I started uh, March 5th of 2023 and I got a finished like basis done by May 15th. And I made my first debut with this at uh, Anime Central. Oh, incredible. So. Made a deadline, having a convention as a deadline, always a good thing. Yeah, um, Anime Central's at May 19th. <laughs> so <laughs> Just made it. Yeah, barely. Yeah. Um, so you said you and two other colleagues mm -hmm. worked on the 3D model for this. Was the original intention to 3D model to print at this size, at this scale? I just kind of, I just kind of threw random numbers in there, and I was like, "All right, yeah, let's do this." <laughs> yeah, because you know, if you wanted to print, this is what one one forty four. Yeah, which is a actually a like a Star Wars scale. Like you could put a a one one forty fourth X wing or somewhere next to this, mm -hmm. and it would be to scale. Yeah, gives you a sense of how big this battleship actually is, mm -hmm. um, but also how much detail you need to have on it. Yeah. On it. Uh, and, and it all, does it articulate? Oh yeah, all of it. The uh, gun battery barrels are able to move. It's a little bit of mechanical design, not just a static ship. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you couldn't design a print all in one part and just chop it up. You had to design it yeah. to be printed. So it's in a, it's split into sixth. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, and then the engine is its own section. Okay, and perfectly down the line here. Mm -hmm. I mean, it almost matches where your panel lines are. Yeah. Very nice. And is it permanently affixed? Uh, no, it's uh, held together by magnets for transport. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, uh, once broken down, this thing can fit in my 91 Celica. Oh, nice, <laughs> yeah. nice. Um, and even when you're splitting this up into six individual hull segments, yeah. those aren't individual prints as well. Those must have their own uh, self assemblies. No, they actually were individual prints. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow, so pretty big printer then yeah, for so each of those. Yeah, so I used a Ender 5 Plus. Oh, okay. So six solid parts. I see, and then, you, of course, I see these print lines. Mm -hmm. um, but adding, of course, all the superstructure gives you all that complexity. Wow, and then uh, what about the paint job? Um, oh, it was just with rattle cans. I just okay. used uh, Rust-Oleum. The uh, gray color was just straight up called Battleship Gray, and I was like, oh yeah, that'll work. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, any plans uh, to rework the file, share um, the file? Yeah, fans so of the, 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 the file is already available on CG Trader. And uh, on top of that, um, I plan to waterproof this because mm. I'm working on a 2.0 that uses a completely different model. So. Will also be at this scale? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's one of those things you finish this project and you're looking at it like, I can do better. Yeah, yeah. I now know the things I need to do to make, mm -hmm. make version two. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, why this ship? Why this model? It's the Yamato has been with me since I was a kid. Yeah. And I mean, when I had nothing, I had Yamato. So this was sort of my way of saying thank you. And um, I started this project about two days after the estate of Leiji Matsumoto, the author, announced that he uh, passed away. Mm -hmm. so. so definitely a tribute to the series, something yes. you grew up with, something that's mm -hmm. beloved for you, and now it's this magnificent, magnif magnificent piece. Um, are you going to disassemble it? Is it going to be displayed in your house? Or your, your um, right now I have like a little corner for it in my basement, but it like sits there disassembled. Yeah. I don't know. I'm probably gonna like move the coffee table out, but my mom would probably kill me. <laughs> <laughs> um, what about future plans? I see you have lighting in the back. Do you want to put more electronics, more lighting in there? Eventually, like the end goal for like version two is to have it like fully motorized. Whoa. Okay. So, so that's you mean turrets and lights mm -hmm. and, um, and 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 radar dishes and things like that. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Uh, for the 3D modeling, is that something you used to do for fun? Is that uh, like yeah, I just um, um, self-taught in Blender. Mm -hmm. um, it's just uh, something that I picked up when I was in high school and eventually like 
you know, to be honest, I never really thought it'd become like this big part of my life. Self-taught 3D modeling, working with online collaborators and with one 3D printer, yeah. is that right? Yes. Over the course of several months, that's what it takes to have your own one 144th scale space battleship in Yamato. Warren, what an incredible accomplishment. Thank yeah, you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching that video. I wanna tell you about our demerit badges because we know that being a maker is a lifelong enterprise of trying new things and learning new skills and it is also about repeatedly messing everything up. And we like to celebrate that because failure is not just an option, it is intrinsic to the creative process. And to that end, we have three new bundles of demerit badges right now on tested-store.com. We've got your shop tool fails demerit badge bundle up here on top. Here in the middle, we have the everyday a whoops demerit badge bundle. And at the bottom, we've got my favorite, the shit happens demerit badge bundle. You can get any one of these bundles and we are considering offering a bundle of all 24, not those, of all 24 demerit badges we have released, but we're not sure what to call it. You have a suggestion? Put it in the comments.